Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of solving proportionalities. This is standard 6.5b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 29 off the 2019 release star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a free response item here. We have to find the answer ourselves. There's no A, B, C, or D to choose from. So what do we know? We know there that 72% of our customers made additional purchases, and there were a total of 250 customers that bought gas. So how many of those? We know it's 72%, but what's the number of the 250 that made additional purchases? So we can actually solve this two different ways. So let me show you the first way. First we're going to make our basic proportionality. And so what we're going to do is we're going to say the part over the whole, that's going to equal our percent. We can use that with some cross multiplication. So what is our part? Well our part is our unknown. That's how many made additional purchases. Our whole, they told us is 250. And the percent of that is, they already told us, is 72 percent. Now, how do we use that for cross multiplication? Well, it helps that we've already got a fraction on the left, but the 72% we need to turn that into a fraction. So how do we turn a percent into a fraction? Well, first we turn it into a decimal, and by we move the decimal point two times to the left. Now, 72% does not have a decimal, so that means you always put it after the ones place. So 72 point, right, we can do that, point something, point zero, and we can move that once and we can move that twice. We can drop the percent sign, put a zero in front, so 0 0.72 or 72 hundredths, and there we go, 72 hundredths. So we can take that decimal, go straight into a fraction. Now we can do some cross multiplication. So what we can do here is we can do 250 times 72. Now that's going to be a big one, so let's go ahead and figure out what that's going to be. 250 times 72, so that's going to be 10. That's 5, and 0 there. So that is going to be another 0, 35, and that is going to be 14, 17. So it looks like that's going to be... Wow, 18,000. All right, so 18,000 on this side. And then on this, I've got 100 with my box. So 18,000 equals 100 times that box. We don't know what that box is, but algebra lets us know we can actually divide both sides of the fraction by the same number and keep the equation the same. It's keeps that balance. So if I divide both sides by 100, and these are supposed to be zeros, not sixes, guess what? Those two cancel out. And so I just need to divide 18,000 by 100, but I know what happens when I divide by 100. I just take zeros away. So I've got two zeros here. I can take two zeros away here. And guess what it is? It's going to be 180. So it looks like my answer is going to be 180. So how can we do that a different way? Well, what if we know there, that there were 72% of 250, and we think that is, right, that 180? Well, another thing to think about is that this, besides the proportionality, of typically means times. And we don't really know how to multiply a percent times a number, but if we turn this into a frac a decimal, and remember we turned that 72% into 0 0.72, 0 0.72 is the same as 72% of 250. And if we were to multiply 250 times 0 0.72, well look, we already did that over here. We did the 250, but it was times 72, not point 0.72. So what we would end up getting is we would end up getting 18,000, right? But what we do here is there are two numbers behind the decimal and the factor, so we need to move the decimal over twice to make this, sure there's two numbers behind the decimal and the product, and it just saves us a step, 180. 